Hey my friends, welcome back to another video. Today I have an honest expression for you, I have an honest message for you. And I want to give you this other perspective that most of the time you don't see. Most of the time nobody sees that. It's it's what we experience internally. And often we're not talking about that. Often we are just dealing with that on our own. So before we go into the topic, I want to remind you to embrace this innocent thought that the world has saved the best for you. And for some reason, that always works out well. <laughs> Let it be a, a mental workout today to install this new thought that the world has saved the best for you. And for some reason, that always works out well. We'll connect it later with today's message. But I wanted to give you this introduction because even when we're moving through our darkest days, or there are days where we're mentally weaker, right? We feel mentally more maybe exhausted or maybe more overwhelmed. And at these days, we think that everybody else is thriving and we are kind of down there. Like, like if we're comparing ourselves with, with others, we'll always find some people who seems like they're thriving and we are here. So there's many different approaches we can take, but I wanted to give you my honest expression, something that in the past I would be afraid of sharing that. I would say like, I'm afraid of saying this because then people will think I'm not so wise, I'm not so smart, I'm not, you know, so sometimes people say, oh, you're so awakened, you're so wise and so on. But truly I'm not, like, I'm just like you. I, I'm just like you. Just. I've decided to work on what I'm passionate about and I've decided to explore myself, to explore my talents, to explore what I'm interested about. So I have these days when I just feel overwhelmed and I don't want to do much. Sometimes I start working on an artwork and then I leave it there for one month. I don't, you know, I, I just leave it there and I lose the motivation to work on it. Sometimes I have few unfinished painting, paintings and, you know, sometimes it feels like we're just losing it. Sometimes it feels like my life is falling apart. And then we start to close ourselves down and and we start to feel more and more overwhelmed and suddenly we start to feel like we, we, we don't want to go out of the house, we, we just want to feel sorry for ourselves or, or whatever is your coping mechanism. Back in the past that's something I was experiencing until I've learned to cope with that and to recognize, well, it's just a challenge of many creative people. If you find yourself being more creative, you, may, you will most probably recognize that when your mind goes out of control, it becomes very hard to handle it, right? And wherever mind is wandering, body will get a feedback of that wandering through emotions, right? If you go through too many different places, let's say you're scrolling on social media, watching too many things, well, your body will experience all of that and you will feel also emotionally overwhelmed. So that's what happens to us. So... Often I was like that. And still sometimes I find myself doing something I'm not proud of. Like, sometimes I find myself scrolling on social media and then I catch myself and I ask myself, what am I doing? Right? What am I doing? And we... Sometimes we just need to recognize, well, it's all a part of the process. You can't be a, ma you can't be a master without mastering yourself. 
Isn't that true? And to master yourself means that you need to fail so many times that you just stop failing. Isn't that true? When you decide to go <laughs> for a certain diet or you start working out, well, you will need to fail with that so many times that eventually you stop failing at it. Isn't that true? So, I am not perfect. You are, like, no one is perfect. And when we admit to ourselves that actually we shouldn't place so much importance on confidence because clearly we're just not there yet. Even until this day, like, I've made over, I don't know, around... 1,500 videos on this channel, sometimes I still find myself not being confident. Sometimes I still find myself being afraid of, of uh, putting myself out there. Like, maybe not afraid, but more like insecure. Sometimes I still feel like these old parts of me become more active. And that's how nature communicates with us. That's how our bodies communicates with us. Like, it's always, there's always something unknown within ourselves that needs our attention. Like, there's certain weakness that needs our attention, right? And sometimes I feel like that. So, I'm far from being perfect, but yet, still every single day, I decide to expose myself to to share a story with you, to share some ideas with you. And sometimes I may feel insecure because I may say, well, I am not a doctor, I am not a psychologist, I am not, you know, someone with a certain label that could talk about these interesting ideas. I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm many things. <laughs> I'm a work in, in progress, right? I'm a work in process. That's what I am. I'm an infinite being, still searching himself, but at the same time, kind of mastering what I found, like learning to use these different forces for my good and for the good of others that will come across my work. But still, I'm failing many times at that. And I wanted to make this message because so many times not just me, most probably every content creator receives messages like people are admiring you and I'm truly grateful for this kind of expression for, for many of you. I'm truly grateful for that. But I want to let you know I am not different than you. I am not different than you. I'm, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'm just, you know, playing with what I have and exploring and so can you you can explore if you have a bad day well explore yourself what's happening when you're having a bad day we all have them and i said in the past <clears throat> i would be afraid of sharing that because this is more of my dark aspect but you know as um, it's not a secret, like we all have the dark side of us. When we're able to accept also this dark side of us, like sometimes people decide to quit certain things, like quit eating sugar, quit um, eating any kind of a food, whatever, or quit being lazy or whatever it is, and then at some point you break that habit and you start to feel guilty. And we go through these guilt trips, right? But then we recognize how else can I learn than failing at this process so many times? How else can I really become good at knowing what's good for me if I don't try all possible different things that I can come up with? It's a self it's a self research process and it's complex it's deep but it's divine
<laughs> so start looking at these processes. It is something divine. Don't feel so guilty just because you've heard somewhere that this is healthy and this is not healthy. Everything can be healthy if it's approached from a healthy perspective, right? If you're more like a scientist experimenting with what you have, you will recognize that even sugar can be healthy if you're recognizing how does it make you feel. Like if you lose the control with it, you will recognize that you start to feel very, very bad after it. So it was a healthy experience because it taught you that too much sugar is not good for you. So it was a healthy experience. Sure, maybe sugar itself is not the healthiest thing for you, but eating too much of it was a healthy experience for you because it taught you that too much of certain thing is bad for you. Isn't that true? But then how many times you need to go through this same process over and over and over again until you find out that you just don't need to repeat this process anymore, right? And that's wisdom, isn't it? That's wisdom. When you learn that you don't need to re repeat mistakes anymore because you just clearly know where it takes you. <laughs> so, that's just one story, one part of the story. And <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit about this because Many of us may be finding ourselves sometimes having these dark days where we feel completely unmotivated and uninspired and and then people start to look on maybe on social media for some inspiration, look for others. And, but what I think that is really happening with us is that our minds are already being so full, like you would have a cup of coffee and you would like to have a tea. Let's say coffee is mental anxiousness and tea is more of a zen mind, right? And you have a cup of coffee, but you would like to have a cup of tea. And then you go on social media and you want to put something into this coffee so that coffee would become a tea. Like you want to change your mind with more and more and more content. That's what I was doing in the past. I thought this will help me, but it didn't. What helped me was actually grounding myself, going for a walk into the nature and then doing some meditation and, and maybe some sleeping. Sometimes I recognize I just need to rest a little bit more. Sometimes I need to sit down and recognize what are my goals for right now. Do I have clear goals for my future? Do I have clarity around my projects? Have I started too many projects? And I feel overwhelmed because of that. So it's about emptying the cup first, so then we can pour in some good tea, right? <laughs> I don't want to make it sound like coffee is bad. If you love coffee, then maybe coffee is this Zen mind. <laughs> whatever. You can make out of it whatever you want. But example is beautiful because we recognize, well, if I really want to change my mind, I firstly need to empty the cup, right? So I can pour in something better, something more pleasant. And mind is really, mind is one of the three really, really important pillars of yourself. If we have this physical reality where everything is a reflection of our internal world, then we have the second pillar is our mental world, where it comes to our relationship towards the reality, like how we are approaching it, what kind of attitude we have towards it. Are we a victim of it or are we creators of it? Are you controlling your reality or is your reality controlling you? And then there's the third pillar, perhaps the most important one, which is the spiritual one, reminding you that everything is connected. It doesn't matter how 
deeply you think you're broken, there's a div divine perfection within you. You're made out of a divine perfection and everything else is just a mental and emotional game. Playing a sense of separation and disconnection and resistance. But deep inside you, you have this perfect divine DNA and, and spiritual practices are meant for us to, to find this um, deeper perfection within all of us, which is an internal peace, a sense of connection, a sense of being, right? And it's okay, sometimes we lose it. Sometimes I lose this sense. But now I know better, so I know what I've lost and I know where I can find it. Usually what helps me the most is nature, meditation, quietness and being alone. While sometimes actually spending a good time with people I love can help me to find this connection once again. But usually I need to have some alone time and, and really not using this um, sense of connection as something to escape from. Because sometimes people like to do that, you know, when you feel disconnected, you like to escape this unpleasant sensation and you go doing all kinds of other things. Well, all you need to do is really to get back home <laughs> into your into yourself and recognize all the mess that um, kind of accumulated between that inner peace and your outer world. Everything that, that kind of accumulated and needs some acceptance, maybe some forgiveness, maybe some letting go, maybe some organization some journaling maybe to write down your thoughts and just to sit down maybe with your thoughts to make some sense out of them and to recognize how much really everything you place attention to affects your inner world and it's something we need to find a connection like how much everything I focus on effects our inner world. That's why these TikToks and shorts and all these short videos can become quite toxic for our minds if we lose control because, you know, suddenly you get so many different energies, so many different impulses, so many different information that clearly you, are, you don't remember what you've watched but you get so many different impulses and at the end you know you, you don't remember everything you watched but you feel still kind of all over the place and you feel you know all these different energies that you've experienced and suddenly you feel even more chaotic so you need to learn to get back home <laughs> to get back into this inner peace to recognize that deep inside you actually are perfect it's how we, how we learn to express this inner, let's say, divinity. How we learn to express it. Like, what is our way of expression? And that is what makes you unique. Like, deep inside, we are all the same. Like, the, old, the ancient saying goes, we're all coming from same place, right? The consciousness. But then... How each individual is able to express your divinity is what makes us so special and interesting and that's what makes artwork so interesting and music and, and science and everything can become very interesting. Like You go into nature and you can be just amazed by everything because each tree is unique, each leaf is unique, each animal is unique, each, everything we see is, is unique and you can be amazed by that you can make it a play like going outside and just seeing how everything is is uniquely interesting and same you need to find out for yourself how to express that uh, interesting individuality of yours how to find something that could 
really provide you a, a loving, a playful way to express that unique indivi individuality of yours. Because that's what will bring you the most joy into your life. And joy will... <laughs> joy will open your heart, my friend. Joy will open your heart and, and unite this... Um, brain heart connection where your intentions will come from your heart and your actions will reflect your intentions so i wanted to make this message as a reminder that we all lose that i lose that many times and sometimes it took it takes it takes me <laughs> many time to <clears throat> to put myself back together i still have this artist's mind that can go into many many interesting places it's like a wild horse <laughs> or perhaps many horses and you need to kind of establish a harmony there and i just found for myself that um if I start my day well, it's much easier to handle it. So maybe to anyone who's dealing with something chaotic right now or who's having a hard day, I hope this message can, can remind you that firstly, you're not alone. Secondly, it's not over yet. Um, you know, soon things will turn out for the better. And you will notice that everything just brought you closer to where you are meant to be so embrace this innocent thought that the world has saved the best for you and for some reason that always works out well my friend it always works out well so embrace this idea my friend i hope you've enjoyed in this one today don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who whom you think that would need to hear it today. It, it would serve a great purpose. And I would be grateful to you <laughs> to do something like that. It also helps to bring this message to more people. So thank you so much. And I hope you've enjoyed in today's artwork. I hope you found it inspiring and playful. And maybe it can remind you of your creativity that with your creative mind you can solve any problem and when you don't know what to do use your intentions yesterday's video was actually a lot about that how powerful your intentions can be when you feel lost so use your intentions and and know that at the right time this spontaneous realization will hit you and tell you what you need to do so be open be acceptable and be grounded. <laughs> Stay connected, my friend. Till next time, one love. Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work, original paintings. You can find prints of all of my art in different sizes so go there and check it out attractpassion.com if you will use the code passion15 passion15 you will get 15 off onto your first order so go there and check it out and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one -on -one, i'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching we have some free spots once again you can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there so go and check it out if you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now it will help you so much to transform your life i want you to do something with it if you feel inspired you have to do something with it so my friends till next time one love